Greetings, salutations, happy Victoria Day. If you celebrate it, that's when I'm shooting this. Um, <coughs> excuse me, cough right in the mic, perfect. Um, yes, back bow on the neck. Time to find out if it's bent back the way we want it bent back. So I'm gonna unclamp it over there while you watch this intro. <music> And what a lovely intro it was. All right, we got the neck. There's nothing noticeably dented in it. No. You seem good. All right. First things first. Straight edge. Survey says. Up to the light. Ha ha! Wait. Maybe. Maybe just a touch. There is a, still a very slight back bow. And hang on. There we go. Whoops, let's just slam that around. I Come on, you can do it. Yeah, all right, so it's just just engaged. I guess we'll rebuild a guitar. All right, stand by. I got to grab the body. It's over there. Okay, we're back. We've got a body. We've got a neck plate, which is now polished. Sure. Oh, the, yeah, right in the eyes. I guess we'll be using these crappy tuners again because we don't have replacement tuners. Should we? Some of them turn a lot easier than the other ones. <laughs> we'll, we'll choose the easier turning ones for the thicker strings, I think. Yeah, that's how we'll do that. All right, what are we gonna need? We're gonna need some neck screws. Actually, before we do the body, why don't we put the tuners back on the neck? Let's remove, yeah. Okay, so that's a nice easy one to move. That, that, that can go there, sure. What about you? You're nice and easy. We'll put you in next to it. What about, oh, you're a stiff one. You're the, yeah, I can feel there's a spot right on the gear there. All right, well, you're gonna go down at the end. All right, for now. You the one with the bent one too? Maybe. How about you? What do you feel like? You feel nice. All right, well, you can go there. How about your friend? Oh, yeah, okay. That's fine. How about this one? Oh. Yeah, another one with a spot. Every time, yeah, it's a certain spot around because it's all when it's aimed right there. I can feel it. All right, well, the shitty ones will be the two thinner ones. Less tension. Sure. All right, we got those lined up. Yeah, why not? All right, I'm going to screw these in and then I'll come back. Tuners installed, bit of a rant. I know, it's, I'm sure these tuners haven't been off a bunch of times in its life, but God, don't use such cheap metal that your Phillips head screws turn into Robertson head screws just because they're so cheap that they just start busting apart. Ah, so annoying. All right, that's, that's, that is not a tight fit in the neck pocket. Nope, not even a bit. There, so you can see what I'm doing, kind of. Let's, let's not get one of my hair stuck in there. There we go. Starting all four screws. All right, 
Where, what, what, what? There it is. Flip this around. Easy. There you go. Snug. I like to, rather than go a lap, I go diagonally across, uh, sort of like torquing down the cylinder head on your favorite hot rod. So, easy. Eat, eat, there, there. And just remember, you don't have to use all the torque on these. Like, yeah, there is a lot of pressure and stuff with string tension, but you're also dealing with wood. And if you just use all the torque and putting these screws in, a screw can turn into a drill bit really easy. That's all I'm saying. It's a lot of checking on this thing. I dig it. Who says Polly doesn't check? Who says that? You can't see it, but there, there is. There is. All right, uh, we need a nut. We have a new tusk nut. We are gonna go with the 11s on this. I figured the extra string tension will help, you know, bring it around. Come on, did you? I thought, I thought, I, yep, just enough. That, that's fine. No, you do not need the nib. sure that's the proof how when the nut rocks back and forth take out that nib see what what it is is you'll see well not really but you can see there's a curvature to it but after a while fender just started making straight nut slots and that's where the nib comes in handy so let me do I what do I have to cut the nib off probably going to use a razor blade and risk cutting off a fingertip perfect what'd you just do with the razor blade you had don't know time to pause the movie oh there it is blade side up no less always nice I'll be right forgot i can't really cut the nib so i'm just just filing her down that's what i'm saying so i'm gonna file it down and make it all smooth and then i'll be back all right i'm back nut has been cut filed denibbed Oh, that's a nice tight fit. I like that. Now it's a, oh, it is a touch proud. That's fine. What I'm, what we're gonna do, I like that, cause it's nice and snug. I don't, I'm not gonna glue it in. I just, that's the nice thing about the fender with the straight string pulls. She'll stay. So, and I can file it down. This is just, you know, as much, experimentation because yeah that nut is way too high as is so that that's fine we can sand it down later this is functionality you know yeah what do we do all right so we're gonna string it up with some power slinkies power sip of coffee because it is still morning Come on, open says me. Well, apparently you did. Man, I used to use these things all the time. Of course, I was playing in drop C at the time. Now, how, how, are we? Are we gonna be able to without hitting? Yep, perfect. Let's, it's a load bearing upper horn now. Is it really a horn? It's more of a nub. All right, so easy. Oh, is it gonna be one of these deals where I'm gonna wrestle it for an hour? Nope. Now you may recall this did have nines on it. And you may also recall that I had a brass nut. And I, I found, you know what? It's a lot easier to file out a tusk nut for string width allowances and such than it is a brass nut. Which I did find, uh, I did enjoy the brass nut. Uh, it did brighten up the tone, 
which I get, that's one of the reasons why you do it. But this is a very bright telly to begin with, the brightest telly I own. I'm not saying it's smart, I'm saying it's got a lot of highs. What's this gate? Oh, this was a G-string. Wow, that's a thick G-string. Let's see how many pedal steel bends we'll be doing with that one. Do, 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 looking out my back window. Because it's a window there, not a door. Won't have an appearance by the cat today. She's busy hanging out upstairs, clawing up everything she can claw up. Because that's how she rolls on a Monday, apparently. Why? Just go. Why? What? There's nothing preventing you. Just just live there. I have a feeling it probably bypassed the saddle. We didn't check the condition of the frets. They seem fine. There you go. No? Yes. No. Yes. No? Yes. Yes. Go. Go. Be with your friends. Go. Get all the way. There you go. All right. All right. There we go. Now, I have done several videos on how to string with a vintage tuner. We'll just briefly go over it again. So if we're gonna live in the first hole, you measure one, two, and a bit, two and a half, almost three past. Cut the string. Wait, make sure the fit the string is fully seated. Let me get over to one and the two and the yep. Cut the string to length. <coughs> Excuse me, I am describing it because I realize you can't really see down here. The string will go down inside the tuner. You hear the clat, the clat, the cat clawing on something upstairs. That's that that's fine. We grab a string winder that's possibly older than Joe Hervey. And that gives you right about three winds. So I'm gonna pause while I get these on here and then we'll be back. All right, brief update. So apparently I'm, I'm stringing up the D string and I managed to put it on the G string post. And I was like, that, that, that's wrong. So yeah, that happened. So that's going, I didn't get it on camera. You wouldn't have seen it that well anyways, but yeah, I was like, what, what, what's going on here? This is not right. So we got an extra wind on, on the D string. So where are we going here? We can live there one, two and a bit. One, two and a bit. So I thought, well, you know what? We'll just we'll just keep filming at this point. And I was just thinking to myself, wow, you're really restringing this guitar fast, Ben. That's cool. You haven't done that in a while. Is this all the ratios? One, two, three, sure. It's hard when you get down the plain strings because you can't measure off tuners that aren't there. Down inside the tuner, push down, grab string winder. Oh yeah, this is one of the bad ones. Glad it's on the B string. I think it was the G string before one of these was on. I know that much. There we go. We're under the string tree. Uh, Ooh, feels a little smoother when you just start reefing on her like that. Getting there. They're not buzzing. I like that sound. So, all right, you're there. So, let's see here. That's one, that's two, and some. <coughs> I 
<coughs> excuse me. And I just realized as I'm finishing this up, one of the things I got was I got this wire because I got to run a ground on this thing, which you realize after you've, you know, it's the ground under the bridge. Perfect. As soon as you restring it, well, that'll be a next. I don't know. We'll figure that out. will be another stream change problem. I don't know. All the wines, apparently. Come on, you can do it. sounds perfect I don't know what that sound was all right on oh these do get stiff that that Yes. Oh yeah, you're stretching already. Sure, it just sounds like that's like really high for some reason. It's maybe why we don't go using the high strings first. Wow, that one's stiff too. Man, I need new tuners for this thing. Come on. about there for now. Where's the string stretcher? String stretcher. We having fun yet? I just realized I haven't talked in a while. Sure. Right. So let's get it to pitch. No, I know. Oh my God. Right. There you go. Uh, with the higher nut action, we are less likely to hear buzzing from the back bow. But, I don't think it was this, they were pretty much laying down last time, I thought. So we shall see. Oh, something went pink. Which one? You're still there. You're a little off. nice that one's stiff yep new tuners which I may get some factory replacements because I figure I don't want to do any drilling for new tuners to help retain the value you know 
Nothing that I've done to this can be uneasily undone, basically. It's all bolt-on shit. All right, now for the infamous, with string tension, do we have any, move you so I can use the light. We have, we have no written neck relief. Maybe a absolute hair of a back bow, maybe, but uh, way don't use your eyes Ben throw a capo body joint nothing all right well Looks like no neck relief by the sounds of it, but uh, we can raise the action a touch to compensate for that. And let's just let it, you know, continue to sit and stuff. So we're going to leave it here for now. It is playable. Hey, that's more than it was earlier because before it was just, you'd hear like, yeah, what's the action at anyways, just for curiosity's sake. Or just under four. Oh yeah, you're a little low on the D string. Yeah, they're a little closer to three. So yeah, I can do a little fine tuning there. So that's good to know. Hey, I can use my telly again. So I've been Ben, you've been you. We've apparently actually somewhat accomplished a repair for once on this channel. Well, you know, we were due, we were due. I'm going to now edit and upload this and watch some racing from Texas. Not Austin this time, Charles. Dallas Fort Worth area. Yep. That's that seems fine. Yeah, let's put the you know next to the Yeah, that's not on. Anyways, I've been Ben, you've been you. We mentioned it. Click on one of these cool links or something. It'll help a fella out. Appreciate all your support and uh yeah, we'll, we'll take care of that.